was not into it, did not like it. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my most disappointing books of 2020. This does not necessarily mean that they are bad books. They just didn't live up to my expectations. This also does not mean that they were necessarily released in 2020. A lot of the books on my channel are backlist because I am broke and don't like spending money on full price books, so I always go to the thrift store. So a lot of them are from many years ago, so without further ado, let us get started. The first book on my list is Fire by Kristin Kishore. This is Technically the second book in the Graceling trilogy, but it is considered a companion novel. It doesn't actually follow the characters from Graceling. I believe that it's like technically a prequel to Graceling, but I was so disappointed in this book. I absolutely loved Graceling. I gave it like 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was one of my favorite books when I read it, but this one is so different. The writing style is just super slow and I was bored throughout most of it. I also just hated how how, like everything was about like men thinking about raping the main character fire it was just weird and just like too much talk about rape for me so was not into it did not like it I gave it somewhere between like a two and a three out of five I don't remember a hundred percent what I gave it so like it wasn't a bad book it just was not what I was hoping for after reading Graceling so the next book on my list is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. I could also probably include a permanent record on this list as well by the same author. I give this a 2 out of 5 stars. I hated the main character, Penny. She was really annoying and whiny and she treated her mother terribly, which I have a really good relationship with my mom, so I just like could not get behind her treating her mother that way because like... I just didn't understand. I also found it like really annoying the amount of times I had to read the word sexy in a chapter when describing Sam, the main boy character in the book. Like at one point she was going on and on about how sexy his armpit was and it was just a lot. I was not a fan, not a good book, two out of five. Next on my list is Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. I read The Big Little Lies by the same author. Duh. And I loved that book. It was on my top list of 2019. But this book was so completely different from that. I hated it, honestly. This book was so slow and boring. It basically follows these nine strangers who go to a resort for 10 days. The resort is known for challenging their guests to face their problems and become better people. But as their time in this resort continues, the people who are there realize that it might not have been the best idea because things start to spiral out of control and it's like the story of that. But like I said, it was super boring, super predictable. I just was not invested in this story or these characters in any way and it was just very disappointing after reading Big Little Lies and expecting that kind of book in not getting it. The next book that I have is Once in Future by A.R. Capita and Corey McCarthy. I was initially really excited about this book because it's like a gender swapped King Arthur retelling but it fell real short for me. This was another one that was super boring, just didn't connect with any of the characters, didn't really care what happened to any of them. I did really like the diversity though so I will give it props to that but overall just a super disappointing read for me. Next up is The Merciless 3 by Danielle Vega. I freaking loved The Merciless when I read it back in 2015. Granted if I read it now I probably would not like it as much as I did. This one was super disappointing. It's technically a prequel to The Merciless. I didn't know that going in but this was basically just a repeat of the first two books where a girl is kidnapped, she's tied up, then religious people are yelling at her, she ends up escaping and then sets fire to the house that she was kidnapped to, and then people die in the end. That's basically what the first two books were, that's what this book was. Which is fine, but I just wanted something different from this one, which I didn't get, so that was kind of disappointing. Next up is They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman, and I am 
a little bit ashamed of this one because everybody has been reading it lately and rating it like four or five out of five stars and I gave it a 2.5 out of five stars. The premise of this is really cool. It follows the players which is a group of people in this elite boarding school that basically gets special treatment from teachers and like other students because of who they are. This one girl named Jill Newman has a best friend named Shayla who ends up being murdered in their freshman year and it is said that the murder was done by her boyfriend but the boyfriend is now in jail and then Jill ends up getting these texts from the boyfriend's older sister saying that he didn't commit the crime and she has proof and she needs Jill's help in order to prove his innocence and it's like the story of that. I was disappointed in this because I was able to call the killer very early on in the story so I am not a fan when I'm able to do that. I also found the plot to be very slow and more time was spent on like player drama rather than the murder mystery so I just wanted to know more about the murder. The players in general also really pissed me off because they complained about literally everything which was really annoying because they literally had everything served to them on like a silver platter and they still complained. I just not a fan. This book just was nothing memorable in my opinion, so it was very disappointing. The next book I have is Given to the Sea by Mindy McGuinness, and this is on my list because I read The Female of the Species back in 2019. It was one of my favorite books, so I was really excited to pick up another Mindy McGuinness book. Every single Mindy McGuinness book since that book that I've read, I have not liked. It is said that every single book that she writes is very different from one another, so I will give that credit to her but I just want more things like the female of the species and less things like given to the sea. There was like this love square between four characters but two of them were siblings so it was really weird. Granted they were like adoptive siblings but it's still weird okay? Like adoptive siblings should not have things for each other. Also not a big fan of the treatment of woman in this book which like is part of the plot and makes sense but it just infuriated me to read so not a fan of this one either. Next up is another one that I'm a little bit uh, ashamed of. It's We Hunt the Flame. This is by Hafsa Faisal and I just found this to be very mediocre. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars which is still like an average read. It was okay but it wasn't like amazing for me. But I'm just disappointed that I didn't like this as much as other people liked it because this was on so many people's like favorite lists and I was so excited to pick it up because I was like oh yeah I'm gonna join the bandwagon and I can't join the bandwagon because I didn't enjoy it. I just found it very underwhelming and boring for the most part. The middle dragged on. I wasn't invested in the story until like the last couple of chapters which like it's a pretty big book. Like not big but bigger than what I used Usually read so just the fact that it took that long for me to be invested was really there disappointing. Will. Next up is There Will Come a Darkness by Caddy Rose Poole and I was disappointed in this because I thought I was gonna freaking love this book. I was like yeah this is gonna be a 5 out of 5 for me. I'm, it's gonna make my top 10 list this year and it did not. I will say that I did enjoy this second book in this series a lot more. I ended up giving that a 4 out of 5 stars. I think the first one I gave a 3 out of 5 stars so I still enjoyed it. It just wasn't what I wanted. The concept of the book was really intriguing to me which is why I thought I was gonna love it so much. It's about this prophecy that was foretold many years ago by seven prophets. It spoke about the age of darkness and how there would be one last prophet who would either be the key to the ending of the darkness or the end of the universe and it was like them trying to discover who this prophet was blah 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 blah. So concept really cool, execution not so great. There was just so many info dumps in the first three parts of this book book that I just didn't care. I just wanted to get to the point where there was action and it got exciting. I just felt like I just kept being shoved information without any of the emotion behind it so I wasn't really able to connect with the characters because there was no emotion for them because I was too busy getting info dumped on. So it was obviously disappointing because I just didn't care by the end of the book and it's quite a lengthy book. I think it's like around 400 and something pages. But like I said, the second book definitely improves and I definitely care about the characters a lot more now than I did in the first book. And then the final book that I have, I actually still have my physical copy because I haven't gone to the thrift store yet because we're in lockdown so I can't donate any books, but it will be going to the thrift store. It is Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera and I am so disappointed 
disappointed that I didn't like this. I didn't have the highest hopes for it based off of everybody else's rankings. They are very low and after reading this I understand why it was not good which is really disappointing. I was excited initially because of Phoenixes and I read Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpatro which I freaking loved and it included Phoenixes so when I found out that there was another book with Phoenixes I was very excited but the Phoenix is there for like three pages max and that's just disappointing to me. I also just could not vibe with the characters. They really bothered me, both of them, and I was not a fan of the writing style. It sounded like an adult, like a really old adult, trying to be like hip and cool like the teenagers and just using a lot of slang that nobody uses. So yeah, I just was not a fan of this one, so it was very disappointing. Alright everybody, so that was my most disappointing books of 2020. Let me know down below what some of your most disappointing books are or if you read any of my disappointing books did you like them am i wrong let me know down below and i will see you in my next video goodbye